Hello everyone. Welcome to the video on drug treatment of congestive heart failure. There are three major classes which are used to treat congestive heart failure. Class 1, diuretics. Class 2, enotropic agents. Class 3, vasodilators. Let us see one by one. First class, diuretics. See, the major problem in congestive heart failure is congestion or blood pooling in organs. This can be addressed by using diuretics. Diuretics reduce blood volume and reduces congestion. Especially high ceiling diuretics or loop diuretics are used. Furosemide, torsemide, dumetamide, like drugs. But chronic use of loop diuretics may cause tolerance. To reduce tolerance, loop diuretics are used along with thiazide diuretics or potassium sparing diuretics like spironolactone. This is about diuretics. Now, class 2 is known as enotropic agents. Enotropic effect means increase in force of contraction of heart. So, what is the second problem in congestive heart failure? Inability of heart to pump the blood. So, enotropes increase their ability to pump the blood. So, address the problem. Now, in this class, there are three class of drugs are there. Beta agonist, digitalis glycosides, PDE3 inhibitors. Let us see one by one. Now, beta agonist, drugs like dopamine and dopamine are used. These drugs are cardioselective drugs which act on beta 1 receptor and cause enotropic effect. How do they act? They act on GS type of G protein coupled receptors that activates cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP in turn activates protein kinase A. Protein kinase A phosphorylates calcium channel. That when the channel is phosphorylated, channel opens, calcium gets inside and causes contraction. This is how they act. Now, second class, digitalis glycosides. Digitalis glycoside also increase the levels of calcium in the heart, causes forceful contractions. I will make a different video regarding digitalis glycosides. Third class, phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitors. Phosphodiesterase is an enzyme which metabolizes cyclic AMP to AMP. When this enzyme is inhibited, cyclic AMP levels are increased. When the levels are increased, protein kinase A is increased. Protein kinase A phosphorylates calcium channel and increases the levels of calcium in the heart. Look at this diagram. This diagram explains all the three classes of enotropes with their mechanism action. Now, coming to the last class, there is a class known as vasodilators. Now, vasodilators are used because they reduce preload, reduce afterload, hence alleviate the symptoms of congestive heart failure. Again, in vasodilators, we have two different classes are there. Arterial vasodilators, venodilators, and artery and vein dilators. Now, arterial blood vessel dilators, calcium channel blockers, hydralazine, minoxidil kind of drugs, they are selective for artery dilation. So, they reduce afterload. Whereas, organic nitrovasodilators, they are venodilators. So, they reduce preload. Whereas, alpha blockers, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers, and then sodium nitroproside, all of them are artery and venodilators. They collectively reduce preload and afterload. So, all these drugs will are very effective against treating congestive heart failure. Now, along with these three classes, there are certain new drugs are there. New drugs like, say, there is a peptide known as brain natriuretic peptide. Natriuretic peptides, they have two jobs are there. One, they cause vasodilation and they cause natriuresis. Natrium means sodium, uresis means sodium excretion. Now, this BMP recombinant analog is there. The drug is neseritide. Neseritide causes vasodilation and causes natriuresis. So, they reduce congestion. The second one, this BNP is metabolized by neprilysin, a, a particular enzyme. This neprilysin is inhibited by sacubitrol. Sacubitrol is a drug which inhibits neprilysin, increases the levels of BNP, causes sodium excretion and reduces congestion. The third one is calcium sensitizer, levosimendan. Levosimendan is a drug which sensitizes actin myosin towards calcium, causes forceful contractions. So this is the drug treatment of congestive heart failure. All the best.